Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So, The Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 13 has aired, and the big event, the Daryl vs. Beta fight that has been anticipated for literally months now because it was teased in a trailer back from months ago, it happened, and it kind of went down, at least in, in the, the general big ways, it kind of went down like I expected. I figured that Daryl wasn't going to get too badly hurt. I figured that Beta wasn't going to get killed or anything. And, I mean, yeah, it's the little details that were definitely different and definitely unexpected. This this whole episode was kind of kind of on the, the funny, light, light-hearted side, at least when it comes to The Walking Dead. This was a fairly light-hearted episode, kind of similar to the episode where Rick and Daryl are just dicking around, driving a car, chasing after Jesus. <laughs> and, it's, it's, and it's also sort of in the same context, and it's, it's the calm before the storm, because the, the next couple of episodes, oh man, the next couple of episodes are going to be really dark. So this episode was kind of lighthearted, and the fight between Daryl and Beta was kind of lighthearted. Uh, Beta threw Daryl around, but he didn't really injure Daryl or anything. Beta put Daryl's throat near a, a saw, and Daryl just kind of sh shoved Beta back, like, just like... <laughs> like Daryl just shoved Beta back like he's not 200 pounds or something even though he is I don't know but um there were some parts in the fight that, that I liked that I um I liked Daryl spinning down the elevator shaft that you know, Beta was you know pushed off of and and Daryl had dropped his knife earlier no it was the, it was a, it was a little knife that he stabbed Beta with and Beta ripped it out of his shoulder. Um, after Beta falls down the elevator shaft, Daryl just angrily walks to the knife and angrily picks it up and just walks away. Like, that really made me laugh. Like, that's such a Daryl thing to do, to just angrily pick the knife back up. Like, you know, that just seems like such a Daryl thing to do. I like that. And I do like the creativity of it. I, I didn't really consider that, yeah, you know, maybe 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 beta's you know brawn over brains i mean that's sort of his relationship with alpha alpha's the brains you know she's the leader you know she's she's not necessarily the biggest person ever you know beta's a pretty big person you know alpha's not necessarily a, a huge person but you know she's 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 a good capable leader you know she's the brains and beta's the brawn you know, so the fight with, with between Daryl and Beta, that's what Daryl used to his advantage. You know, he used his brains, and Beta was the brawn. I mean, Beta was obviously the stronger fighter, but you know, maybe Daryl was more nimble and fast because he's smaller. You know, he was able to, like, sort of jump around and leap around and get around Beta, and, you know, Beta thought Daryl was in one place, and Daryl was, like, hiding under the floor tile, and then popping up and, and running up to Beta, pushing him off the elevator shaft, which is kind of ridiculous. I mean, this this entire episode was kind of ridiculous. I mean, it has a, a group of, basically, savages that have been living in the apocalypse for years that were just about to kill you, but then you, you say... Well, have you guys seen a... When's the last time you've seen a movie? And then they're good. And then they're good guys. I mean, this was just a ridiculous episode. This episode had Carol running off, and then Henry running off, and then Lydia running off, and then Dog running off, and then Daryl being like, No, Dog, don't. Wait, Dog. Like, this This episode was practically a cartoon. <laughs> um, but as far as the Daryl beta fight goes, some people are saying that beta got his ass kicked a little bit. And, and yeah, he did, he did, but the thing is, I think Beta's going to get revenge. I, I think, you know, this, this was round one, and there's going to be a round two between Beta and Daryl. I, I really think that, that Daryl is on Beta's shit list. If, if Daryl was not on Beta's shit list before, he is now. Beta hates Daryl. I wouldn't be surprised if, if everything that Beta does from now until the, like, the end of season 10... Or in season 11, everything is going to be about killing Daryl, killing Daryl, killing Daryl, getting revenge on Daryl, hating Daryl. I, I think Beta is going to just hate the shit out of Daryl, and he's going to want revenge on Daryl. And that there's going to be a second fight between Beta and Daryl. There's going to be a round two, if you will. Now, another thing is, 
yeah, you know, this this was kind of a, a little victory. You, you know, they got away. You know, Beta got defeated. But you know, if if you if you read the comics, you know that there's this big event that's about to happen. And it, if you haven't read the comics, it's it's basically twelve characters getting killed by the Whispers. Twelve characters getting decapitated by the Whispers. It's it's known as the twelve heads on. It's like the, the yeah twelve heads on spikes, heads on spikes, and yeah, I think this is just what the you know Daryl winning the fight against Beta was just a small victory, and the heads on spikes is going to be kind of the the you know it, it, that's going to be a loss. You know that's going to be a a a part where. The bad guys win. This, you know, this little fight between Daryl and Beta, you know, that might have been the good guy winning, but no one got, you know, Beta didn't get killed or anything. You know, Beta just got defeated temporarily. The twelve heads on spikes. That that's something that the Whisperers plan. They orchestrate it and they succeed. You know, and yeah, they they eventually, you know, they fight later and, and this and that, but that's that's a blow to the good guys you know that's 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 a victory for the, for the whispers that's a victory for alpha and it's a victory for beta so for for those of you saying you know you know beta should have won beta should have won beta, beta should have you know hurt daryl and, and broken daryl and you know so that way that D daryl defeats beta later on and that's like the reward well, that can still happen. I, you know, th this this big dark thing that's going to happen is going to be the the, the heads on spikes, and that's going to be what really I think that's going to be what really seals the deal for Beta as being, you know, a really dark, you know, an an imposing threat, a big threat to the characters. I think Beta is going to be one um someone that kills a couple of the characters. Maybe he kills all the characters. You know, we don't know what his role is going to be with the heads on spikes. I imagine Beta will play a part in that because at this point it's personal for Beta. It's it's very personal. I mean, just look at how he acts when he's in that elevator shaft. When he gets up, he's in pain. He's angry. He wants payback. The 12 heads on spikes could be his way of getting payback. That could be his way of getting revenge. We we don't know how many of the characters he he is going to be the one to kill, it, you know he could be the one that kills all twelve if it's going to be twelve you know who knows but he could be someone that kills three or four or five or six of them he he's he could play a huge role in the twelve heads on spikes so just because Daryl might have won a little fist fight that that doesn't mean that that Beta is just you know just completely defeated and and you know his image is destroyed or whatever he's gonna get his you know the the bad guys are gonna get hit theirs yeah you know, a lot of whispers have been getting killed they, they've in, in almost every episode it seems like five or six whispers get killed like ever since they got introduced they just get killed like like they're flies you know and in, in this past episode you know there's beta and a few other whispers and connie and henry and lydia and Daryl killed the rest of those whispers except for Beta. And that keeps happening almost every episode. There's always like a handful of whispers that get killed, like stormtroopers. But keep in mind, remember all the way back in season six of The Walking Dead, how how Rick's group wiped out the entire outpost of the Saviors? Well, you know, it came back to bite them in the ass, didn't it? So I you know, I, I think I think the whispers are about to get their pound of flesh. It's just sort of the calm before the storm, and I do think that Beta could get his revenge because, for one thing, Beta could be the one that kills some of the characters um, and decapitates some of the characters. You know, he he could play a big role in the heads on spikes, so that could be you know the bad guy hurting the good guy, like a lot of people wanted during the Beta Daryl fight. When you really, when it really comes down to it, the Beta Daryl fight wasn't a big deal. It really just needed to be cool and exciting and not an embarrassment to either character and I think it succeeded. So I think I think that you know just because Beta lost the fight it doesn't mean that the Beta's down for the count. He's going to get his pound of flesh, he's going to get his revenge and it's probably going to be in this season in the last few episodes. So yeah, I, I think Beta will get his revenge. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't be shy. 
hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day, so please hit that subscribe button. Right now we are at 424 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 500 in the next few months. So just remember, every subscriber counts, every bit of support matters, and is very, very appreciated. Hopefully we can get to that goal of 500. Anyway, with all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye!